Hi, and welcome to the next video. Today, I would like to have a look at the collect as state with lifecycle function. Before we start it, let's just quickly have a look what I changed in my project. I have added some view model. This view model is injected with Hilt using the Hilt view model annotation. We have this player page state data class over here. And then we have this UI state, which is basically mapping this mutable state because right now I only have one state. Otherwise we would have a couple here and then combine them together. And then I'm using this state in method in order to convert the called flow that is returned from map to a hot state flow. If we look into our screen over here, the player screen, then I have my view model injected here with here view model. And below I have uh, my UI state, which is the player, mm, which is the state coming from the player view model. And then I'm using here this collect as state with lifecycle. If you never seen it before, you probably were collecting your state with either just collect or you were using the collect as state. Depends on your use cases. However, the problem with the collect as state is that it's not aware of the Android lifecycle. It is aware of the compose lifecycle. But there might be a situation when your application is going into background and then your flows will be still collected. To tackle with this issue, we have this method called collect as state with lifecycle. By default, this works in a way that if the activity or a fragment probably goes into on stop, then it stops collecting, um, then it co stops collecting state from flow. And then it starts resubscribes the flow basically the next time that we go into on start method. If we look inside of this method, then we can see that over here, we are calling this repeat on lifecycle method. And this is something that otherwise we would have to do manually inside every time when we are collecting our UI state. So we would have this repeat on lifecycle and then in the Lambda we would be actually collecting our state. And then this would be lifecycle aware kind of collection. And this handy method just does it for us. So that's basically everything that this collect as state with lifecycle does. I have learned this um, mostly through this little article by Manuel Vivo. So at the end of this video, I would like to just quickly go through this article and encourage you to go and read it. If you have never worked with collect as state with lifecycle. So first he explains why we actually need this. And he says over here, that's a composable function as we've seen that collects values from the flow and represents the latest value as composable state in a lifecycle hour manner. So in other words, um, every time that a new flow emission occurs, the value of the state object updates and this causes the recomposition. And then he shows you that basically this kicks in here on stop and then on start. So on stop we stop actually listening for the changes and then on start we listen to the changes again. Here also he gives you a small snippet how to use it. And you also have to include this dependency in your build Gradle file. And finally, also this is where he mentions that if you wouldn't be using this, then you have to use this lifecycle dot repeat on lifecycle and then give it some state like started every time that you would be actually collecting your state. Like he's trying to collect the state here without this super useful new method. And then finally, if we scroll down, yeah, he, you can also read a little bit about the comparison to collect a state. So in short, I think what he was saying here is that the collect a state, it's just aware of composables lifecycle and it's not aware of Android lifecycle because Jetpack Compose is supposed to work or the idea behind it is to work on different platforms later on, which actually is already possible, I think. And of course, if we don't have the Android platform, then we don't have the Android lifecycle, which we have to be aware of. Finally, he also shows you a little bit what you have to do if you want to move from collect a state to collect a state with lifecycle, which is pretty easy. And I think that will be everything for this video. One more time, I really encourage you to check out this pretty handy article over here. And see you next time. Bye bye.